Joining me now from Suffolk, Virginia, first sergeant, United States Marine Corps retired, and candidate for Virginia's third congressional district, John Colick. John, the last thing I think Virginia needs is to be attacking history and, and tearing down history, especially monuments to our military veterans. And like it or not, if these people want to agree to it or not, Robert E. Lee is a military veteran of, of a domestic war, the bloodiest war this country has ever seen. What Virginians, it seems to me, need is more liberty and less Northam. Well, you're, you're exactly right, Graham. Um, Robert E. Lee was courted by President Lincoln to run the, the Civil War on behalf of the North. But he's a Virginian, and he really wanted to be on the side of Virginians. Okay, he, he is an American hero. Now, we don't want to erase history. Whether you agree with removal of statue or not, we have so many statues in this state right now that are being torn down. Statues that are privately owned on private property that are being utterly destroyed. And what we're going to find out is when we ignore history and we don't teach it to our children, we're going to repeat it just like they did in Germany during World War II. I agree with you. I agree with you 100 percent. Now, the district that you are seeking, District 3 uh, in Virginia, I would imagine is probably heavy military. It's the Norfolk region. Uh, median income, 52,000, but it's a Democrat-heavy district, plus 16, represented by a true radical who's been on the job. He's a, really, he's a poster child for term limits. He has a liberty score, this Bobby Scott, of F10%. Uh, his voting record on military issues is deplorable. It's, it's among the worst I have seen. Well, Grant, again, go ahead and you look at his Homeland Security record as well, because we have a strong Homeland Security presence here as well. So that's where the money is coming in, through military, military contracts, Homeland Security, Homeland Security contracts, and the shipbuilding industry all interwoven. And he is against every single one of those. And to go even further, the man has been the chairman of the Education and Labor Subcommittee in the House of Representatives and has done nothing to help education in our district to a point we have a graduation rate of 82 percent. He also voted in favor of impeachment, even though it's a heavy Democrat registered district. Is that what the people of District 3 want, an impeached president? No, I think most of the people in District 3 historically have gone to the polls, unfortunately, and looked for an R or D and voted. There's mm. been very few who have really gone in as independents and said, hey, who's the best man for the job? So Bobby Scott has run unopposed as well. So he's pretty much been handed over the keys to the kingdom. Now, we're not going to let that happen this time because we are getting an army behind us to oust him based on what he should have done and what he did do for the people of this district. It ain't going to be easy. You got a lot of work to do. I mean, let's be honest. And if folks want to help you out or at least investigate uh, who you are, go to your website, Colic, that's C O L L I C K, colic4congress.com, colic4congress.com. It's a Democrat plus 16, but in an environment, a political environment in which we are in right now, anything, and I mean it, anything can happen. John, good luck and thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.